Hey, Grey Levens, I'm going to be working through a creditors reconciliation question. Uh, this type of question pops up quite often in your exams, but never for too many marks. Um, but a section certainly that can make your A or make your B or cost you. So, so let's go through it and I will highlight the answers in yellow as we go. So don't get confused with other figures, just focus on the line I'm dealing with. Right, so just before we climb in, a creditor's reconciliation, remember, reconciles what you think you owe your creditors with what they say you owe them. And they would often, mostly, uh, not be the same because of a matter of time. Maybe you've made a payment and they just don't have it yet. Maybe they've processed discount and you didn't process it on your side. So you have to always decide who's made the mistake. Have we made the mistake? And if we have, we have to update our books or have they made the mistake or error or have they forgotten something, then it goes to the creditor's reconciliation statement. Okay, the way they could ask this question is in various ways, um, but in this case, let's have a look. Um, we're going to do the creditor's recon statement, and then we're going to work out the amount in our books, and hopefully you'll see they will balance at the end. Okay, so let's go look at the question. It says, draw up a creditor's reconciliation statement, and secondly, show the calculations of the Princess Store's account in the books of Latin Lantern Traders in your answer book. Okay, so first of all, it says that the following relates to Lantern Traders, a creditor, and a creditor, sorry, Princess Stores. So we have to discover who are we. We are Lantern. Let me type here. We equals Lantern. And the creditor is Princess. Right, so we must have that in mind all the time. So... For, for 2.1 and 2.2, I'm going to answer them together, and we have to decide who is who and who's made the mistake. Information on comparing the statement from Princess Stores and the crediting, creditor's ledger of Lantern Traders, the following errors have been discovered. Number one, balance as per the statement from Princess Stores is 18386. So when we go to the creditor's recon, we start by saying balance as per the statement 18386. Number two, the credit balance in the creditor's ledger is 12120. So you can straight away see they are not balancing and equal to each other. So in our books, there's the balance 12120. The memo says that learners were not required to complete the details here on the left side, so don't waste time by doing it if you don't have to. Right, information three. Upon investigation, it was found that Princess Stores had calculated their balance on the statement incorrectly as 18386 instead of 13886. So they have made a mistake and the creditor's recon would be affected. How is it going to change? It's going to have to come down by the balance or by the difference between those two. Here we go. Correction of balance on statement minus 4,500 Rand, which is the difference. Their mistake. Number four. Trading stock purchased on the 1st of March for 3450 was correctly in, was recorded incorrectly, sorry, as 4350. Right? Trading stock bought on the 1st of March 3450 was recorded incorrectly as 4350. Right, so let me just check on my calculator. If you had to find the difference between these two figures here, it's 900 Rand. We have to decide who has made the mistake of 900 Rand. It could have been a little bit clearer here, in my opinion, but this says has was recorded incorrectly. So this says that we probably, the way I read it, have recorded it wrongly as 4350 in our books. That means we have processed too much in our creditors' control and would need to bring our books down by 900 Rand. There is our books, and it says incorrect amount recorded minus 900 Rand, our mistake. Okay, although it could have been a bit clearer for my liking. Number 5.1. Check number 201 was paid a few days late, resulting in no discount granted by Princess Stores. The discount amount of 1250 was recorded in the creditor's ledger. Okay, so we wrongly claimed 1250 discount for ourselves when we should not have. We, they didn't give us the discount in the end. So we have to fix our books by adding back 1250 as the discount was not given in the first place. 5.2. Princess Stores then charged the business 156 Rand interest on its overdue account. Once again, it's our mistake. We have not processed this 156 Rand. So there it goes. In our books, 156 Rand interest. Number six, 
Credit note 133 for 370 Rand from Princess Stores was recorded as an invoice 133. Okay, remember a credit note talks about when we return stuff to our suppliers. Therefore, it should bring our balance down, right? In our books, though, we recorded it as an invoice. So we wrongly added 370 Rand instead of minusing 370 Rand. That's why the correction is to minus 740 Rand. In other words, minusing 370 and minusing 370 again, right? The first 370 is to cancel the adding of it. And then the second 370 is to minus it like we should have in the first place. This type of adjustment appears nearly all the time. So be ready for it. Number seven, invoice 189, 600 Rand was for stationery purchased from Verita stores. And this was erroneously entered into princess stores. So we have what? We have wrongly bought 600 Rands and put it to princess in our books, even though we bought it from someone else. So once again, we have made the mistake. We have to then reduce our account or our amount rather from uh, princess stores as we've put money there and thought we bought from them, but we didn't. So minus 600 Rand as well from our books. We're making a lot of mistakes here. Number eight, a 20% discount was approved on the purchases of for 4,000 Rand made on the 27th of March, 2015. This was not taken into account by Lantern traders. So they have made a mistake here. If 20% discount was granted on 4,000 Rand, it means that they should have given us 800 Rand discount, but they have not. So when we go to, when we go to, oh, sorry, it looks like we've made the mistake, eh? Okay, let's read carefully again. A 20% discount was approved on the purchase for 4,000 Rand. This was not taken into account by Lantern. Okay, I read it wrong. It means that we have forgotten to make the discount in our books. So we need to bring our books down by 800 Rand because we were given a discount and we didn't process it. So when we go to our books, trade discount there, bring down our amount by 800 Rand because we should have paid or because we got the discount. Hey. Number nine, invoice number 134 for 2000 Rand was not reflected on the statement from Princess Stores. I don't know why it says debit there. But in other words, we bought 2000 Rand from Princess Stores and they forgotten to put it on their statement. So it's their mistake. So we go to the creditors recon and we put 2000 Rand there, invoice not reflected on the statement. Number 10, Lantern Traders made a payment of 5000 Rand and it wasn't recorded by Lantern Stores. Why would it not have been recorded? Probably because of the date. They haven't got around to it. And possibly also because the, re the, the statement we've received has already been printed and it didn't process that payment. So it's their mistake. Therefore, 5,000 Rand must be subtracted from their amount in the creditor's recon statement. Number 11, credit note 144 for 400 Rand was not reflected on the statement from Princess Stores. So we've returned stock of 400 Rand and they've forgotten to reduce the debt that we've got with them. So creditors recon statement, there it is, returns not reflected on the statement, minus 400 Rand because it was their mistake. Right, so those are all the transactions. Now we hold thumbs, we total the creditors recon, we get 10,486, we total our books and we get 10,486, so therefore we are in balance, we've reconciled. Okay, 2.3, it was a short question, provide three points for the good internal control over creditors. Various answers here. In other words, how can we better manage our creditors? Let's see what the memo had. There must be a different person to receive goods and another person for the return of goods, right? So division of duties is very good. Documents received and written out must be accurately recorded. Okay, perfect. Also, the creditor's control account must, prop, must be properly balanced and reconciled against the creditor's list. Very important. An internal reconciliation procedure. Creditors must be paid promptly within the stipulated period of payment in order to avoid being charged interest. Absolutely. Okay, there are various other suggestions, I'm sure, but those are the bare minimum, I guess, to give you the four out of four. Okay, hope this exercise helped. Remember, not the biggest chapter of work, but good to do well in it if you can.